Hello. Hello everyone, um, welcome to our, this is our new workshop. So this, we'll do a quick little tour around it. This is the office area, so it's got a pre-constructed office, we'll put the computers and stuff in it. But it comes here to the exciting bit. <laughs> So yeah, for panoramas, this is the new new unit. So it's it's this is 10 by 15. Our old unit was nine by nine, so it's one and a half times the size, but it's also it's twice as high. I think it's a seven meter ceiling on this, so it's a big high building. Um, so all the manufacturing will go in here. So office and toilet, little bit of kitchen area with, with the end units. We've got a got a window out looking out onto a, another horrible unit, which isn't very nice, but got sunlight. Um, this big construction here that I'm building at the moment will become uh, the dirty area. So we'll put all the grinding machines, cutting machines, everything that creates metal dust and dirt will go in there to contain it. Um, here it's going to be welding area. So I think we're going to have three welding bays, a couple of gas ones and a TIG one. Um, up the top here you can see, so on top of the office block, we're going to put the bike manufacturing area, so we'll sort of post plate assembly. So we'll have a mezzanine up there, the window looking out the front. So James will live up there, all his stuff will be up there, all the bike storage, um, all the bike parts storage. On top of the, on top of the block, um, we'll put all the box storage, so all the, all the stuff from Taiwan, maybe all the tubes and stuff, lots of storage up there. Um, and here, most importantly, you can see marked out, it's going to be the skateboard ramp. <laughs> so we've got enough space to put a little mini, mini ramp in. So I think that'll be, that'll be exciting, keep us busy. Um, but you can see all the crap that's come out of the other workshops. This is all, this is all got to be dealt with. Lots of timber that we've taken down from the, from the other units and there's still, there's still the same again in the, in the old workshop as well that we've got to move across. Um, oh, and the other thing, yeah, the meal. The mill and the lathe will sit here. They're, they're dirty, but they don't really throw up dust, so we're going to keep them out in the sunshine. So that's it, really. New, new kind of times for styling cycles. It's getting a bit bigger. Hopefully, we can streamline production a bit, get a bit more control. Um, yeah, it's exciting. And <laughs> why has this happened? Um, this has happened pretty much because of money. So uh, the last unit, we've been there five years. It's a really nice location in the centre of Bristol. Um, but the estate agents are greedy, greedy bastards and they doubled our rent. So with the new lease, the new next five year lease, they were gonna double our rent. So essentially we can get this unit one and a half times the size, twice as high for the same amount of money. And we've, we've moved out of town a little bit. Um, so it's not, not sort of that nice central location, but you know, we, get, we get more, we can be here for a long time. It's because we've got the height to it, we can essentially grow upwards if we need to. Whereas the old unit, we were, we were sort of right on the limit of what we could, what we could achieve. It's bigger and shinier, and we'll because we're starting setting this up from scratch, we can, we can arrange it all properly. Whereas the old one was a bit organic; everything had sort of ended up in places because it had ended up there. Whereas now, we can plan to have everything can organise from the start. So we've got another week in the other place. We've got to get a lorry in to move the big machines. Uh, I think we've got to paint the old place, paint the floors get that all nice and clean and then we'll be here full time. So I'm flat out, I'm here every second there is trying to get this built whilst the others are still building bikes at the moment. And then next week we'll stop building bikes and we'll just focus on getting this getting this finished. It, it's sad to leave the old place. It was, um, St. Werberg's where it is, is a really lovely place. I used to live there. Um, it's got a real it's got nice coffee shops. There's nice places to buy pasties and you know, it's a really nice area. Real sort of hippie area, but really nice and interesting. So I'm sad to leave that. Uh, and I've been there five years, you know, it's been, it's the first place for styling. It's, it's you know, sad to leave it, but I think things change, things move on. And I think this, it's quite nice. The big area just feels really nice. And it's got so many skylights, it's really light and airy in here. So I think I'm, I'm feeling positive 